For those wanting to give back to the community, hospice volunteers are needed at Mercy Health. These volunteers would be helping with end-of-life care life by doing anything from serving as a companion to staffing the reception desk. Next Thursday, Mercy will have its first training sessions for new volunteers. Hospice of the Valley Volunteer Coordinator Maureen McQuillan is here with us to talk about training and how volunteering can make a difference in the lives of many. So Maureen, yes. thanks for being here. Thank you, Madison. We're so glad to have the opportunity. Yeah. And we know that hospice workers, they can do a number of things to support patients as volunteers. What are some of the duties that volunteers have? Well, we have many, many opportunities that are available to the volunteers. One mainly that we're looking for to train in this class that's coming up in August, which you mentioned, and also in October. Uh, we're looking for volunteers that will actually go into the patient's home as companions. And they sit at bedside, talk to the patient, soothe soothe the patient, just be there with them and provide support and care like our professional team of experts that also, which we consider our volunteers experts because they go through a 15 hour training course, uh, which starts next week. Um, but uh, they, they can provide visits and just encouragement and love to the fam family and to the patient which is so important because yes. that's what they need and yes. that's you know you can't you can't have enough volunteers I can imagine right. and I, we understand there are the different training sessions like you talked about you know how many training sessions does someone have to go through and what will they learn exactly yes um, there's a, a two-part training course uh, two Thursdays uh, one will be uh, next Thursday and the 17th of August and they're from 9 to 4 and um, they learn everything about hospice, all the different um, disciplines that are involved in the care, all the professional team comes and talks about it, and we have a volunteer that comes and tells them what they do when they go in and visit with the patients. The requirement is um, very similar to training uh, our employees because we consider our volunteers employees of Hospice right. of the Valley. Right, yeah, and I know we mentioned that the need for the volunteers is great right now. How much of a stress has this put on Mercy and the hospice industry? Um, I think that um, it's been, uh, since COVID, there's been a, a definitely a shift in um, the landscape of, mm. of, of Hospice of the Valley. So I think that, you know, the need is great um, and um, you know, we want to grow the program, mm -hmm. so we want to grow our patient uh, census as well. And um, we were established in 1979 as the first nonprofit organization hospice that, that was out there. And we have been, I believe, like the best hospice mm -hmm. that anybody can choose, but a lot of times there's a lot of confusion, you know, with it, all the different hospices that are out there, and they're all great. but. Ours, we feel, is has a lot of perks to it. Yeah, so, it's good to have that. Including our volunteers. <laughs> right, and good to have that pride. And if someone is looking into a place right now that they'd like to volunteer this summer, going into the fall, how can volunteers get signed up? Yes, if you are interested in volunteering, um, just give me a call. My number is 330-549-5902. Um, if you leave me a message, I'll call you back and we'll, mm -hmm. we'll walk you through the process. Uh, it's an application. Um, we meet with with you and we tell you about it and then we sign you up for the class. Like I said, the August class is next week, but we also are having one in October. All right, and again, I mean, the, the need for volunteers is so crucial, so anyone seeing this is a great opportunity for them yes. to give you a call. So thank you so much, Maureen, with your thank time you. today. Thank you so that. much.